Philadelphia is supposedly the city of brotherly love, but there is no bromance between 76ers big man Joel Embiid and Russell Westbrook. The last time they played each other, the two All-Stars basically waved at each other to go away. Embiid started it, waving goodbye when Steven Adams fouled out of the game. They ended up in triple overtime. The Thunder won it, and Russell waved bye-bye to Embiid. I'll tell him to go home. You know, he was talking mess to Steve O. Fouled out, waving to the crowd, which is unnecessary, waving to Steve O. Bye. Now it's time for him to go home. And it was on from there. Andre Robertson had the winning bucket in that game. Tonight, OKC hosted Philly in the Bad Blood rematch without Dre. He tore his patellar tendon last night, had season ending surgery this afternoon. Westbrook keeping it quite comfortable coming into work and be trying to snap OKC's seven game win streak and they collide early. First quarter and B drives and dunks on Westbrook. He had something to say on the way back. Take another peek. The beef is hot. End of the half Westbrook answers. Nobody getting in the way of this massive dunk. 76ers slug back. Ben Simmons drops the hammer. Final seconds of the half. Paul George knocks down the three. Philly up a point at the break. Late in the third, OKC gets separation. George comes up with the steal. Feeds Westbrook. He's got the finish. And check him out. Russell is fired up. And then Russ shares back to George for three. Caps a 15-0 run for OKC. Fourth quarter, here comes Philly. And B drills a three-pointer. Billy calls timeout. We've got a one-point game. But OKC puts a stop to the rally. Russell paddles the rim another time. Thunder wins the game 122 to 112. No post-game handshakes or waves coming from Westbrook to MB. Westbrook with 37 points. He was a rebound shy of a triple-double. 31 points for Paul George in this one. Joel Embiid gets 27 points and 10 rebounds in the loss. Fox 23's Heather Geller is live at Chesapeake Energy Arena, which is still the home, Heather, of the hottest team in the NBA. Uh, that's right. Well, they've been the Thunder roller coaster this season, but maybe this team has finally gone off the crazy ride. OKC okay, on an eight game win streak now after a 10 point win here tonight. But the game itself was filled with those ups and downs. Midway through the third quarter, our energy changed, and I thought Russell had a lot to do with that. And the momentum that we had, I think we went on a pretty big run there and kind of regained control of the game. Um, and then we closed the game out. It was that third quarter energy that really was a turning point tonight. The Thunder found themselves in a hole and crawled their way out of it and didn't let up. You know, we plan for win, so uh, you know when it comes down to the game, you know we love this game, go fight for it. And we came out with the energy um, and just got the win. It's been a game that was kind of a steady flow. It was kind of a, a dud in there early, but I thought in that third quarter, uh, going into the fourth is when, when we really picked it up. A big part of that was thanks to Paul George and his his grabs and of course Russell Westbrook. Defensively is how we change the game. Uh, you know, getting hands on loose balls, getting steals, getting out in transition. That's our uh, our advantage, man. When we do that, it's tough to stop us. And after tonight's win, the Thunder are now within two games of the Spurs for third in the West. And coming up at 10, I'll have more reaction from the players without Andre Robertson on the court with them tonight. Live from Chesapeake Energy Arena, covering news that matters. Heather Geller, Fox 23 Sports.